from Amsterdam, my name is Ivana and today we're doing my first ever Q&A video. Yes, I have never done one of these before but because I'm not vlogging this week I thought what a perfect opportunity to answer some of your questions. So without further ado, let's go to the first question. First question from LM's Life. Uh, I wonder how you started traveling and how you got the money for it. Well, I think I'm going to make a separate video about this because I get this question a lot. Even though there is like a little Q&A in the description down below where I answer it a little bit, I will make a separate video about that. But this one, what is something important to think about if you go to a faraway country for the first time as a newbie? Your visa. I think that's the thing. Well, I always forget. <laughs> So that's what I would say. Um, check the visa requirements and if you need anything. Also the, the vaccinations, the health uh, precautions is also something really easy to forget but it's really important when you're traveling. So those two things. UV fashions. Hi Eve, uh, do you have any sport fitness yoga goals? Hell yeah girl, I need to get back in shape before I head back to a uh, beach destination in February. So right now I'm trying to work out. It's not working out. <laughs> Uh, so uh, yoga goals, I would like to, no, I would just like to continue the way it is. I don't like having goals in yoga. I just like to practice, but fitness, I, I, I need to work out like maybe four days a week or something to get back that little six pack that I had. I never had a real six pack, like little six pack. So that's my goal for February. We'll see if that works out. Stay tuned on Instagram because you know, when I start posting pictures from up here, you know I'm not back in shape. <laughs> Priscilches asks, Hey Eve, do you have a woman crush? Hell yeah, I have so many. Okay, let me start with the queen, Beyonce. My YouTube queen, Superwoman. My Indian queen, Aishwarya Rai. And also Priyanka Chopra. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with these women. If any of them want to marry me, I am down for that, for real. Also, if I would have to name a Dutch celebrity, I would say Sophie Hilbrand. She, she has my heart forever. I love her natural beauty. I love her down-to-earthness. She's amazing balls. And probably if you're not from the Netherlands, you have no idea what she looks like. Well, that's her. And she's awesome. Priscilla also asks um, if I could make a video about my morning yoga meditation sesh. Well, next week is going to be yoga week. From Monday until Saturday, I will be posting like a part of my yoga routine. My yoga routine lasts for like two hours, two and a half hours. So that's just, just way too long for a video. So I cut it up in pieces and then you will have a nice playlist with six videos and it's one yoga sesh next week. Anna Koch asks, would you ever work in the legal field again if no why wouldn't you do this again i never worked in the legal field so uh, if this is maybe the first video you're watching for me or you, you of course didn't watch my dutch videos i studied law i am uh, i have I'm a, i have uh, i have a master's degree in law i also studied communications i have a, what is it called master of communication science or something so i have two master's degrees but i never worked in the legal field because well, I did not like my fellow students and I was thinking like, oh my gosh, those are going to be my colleagues later. I don't want to work with those people. Um, legal people do not have my sense of humor. They're way too serious for me. And when they're, yeah, I don't know. I just, meh, I did not like it. I, even though I like law more than communication, it, it really comes natural to me. I love it so much. I don't think so. But the main reason is I don't think I would like the people... I would have to work with and people I work with are really important to me so that's a no-no for me. <laughs> e. Hogenkamp, I think your name is Eva, right? I, I think I snooped around on your Instagram before. Uh, yes, I do that <laughs> with people who leave comments on my Instagram pictures. I sometimes snoop around on your Instagrams. Uh, what kind of videos uh, do you like to watch the most on YouTube? Uh, vlogs, by far. I love, of course, Superwoman vlogs, beauty gloss vlogs, vlog gloss vlogs. I love uh, Fussy Tube vlogs. I love Roman. I love uh, Mumbaiker Nikhil vlogs by far. Yep. She also asked, which country would you also like to visit that doesn't look like anything like the countries you visited before? I don't know if that's good in correct English, good English, correct English, whatever. 
I'm Dutch anyways, it's my third language, who cares? Forgive me, please. Grammar Nazis. My answer to your cue is Iceland. If you know a little bit about me, you know I hate the cold, but, but, the landscape in Iceland looks ridiculous. It's so gorgeous. Any picture or any video I've seen about Iceland, I'm like, yes. Iceland is literally the only cold destination on my wish list. That's how awesome it looks. If you have no idea what it looks like, check out Ben Brown's vlogs from Iceland. They're amazing. One of my favorite travel vlogs ever. Yelche Smink asks, given the choice of anyone in the world, who would you want as a dinner guest? Well, I already named my women crushes. I am going to say Superwoman. I was really, really thinking about Beyonce, but the thing is she's way too much media trained, so I don't think that would be a very, very fun dinner, but Superwoman is so awesome. She, she's so funny, but she also has like that serious side, so I think you could have a really, really good conversation, but also laugh your pants off and basically end the dinner at 6 a.m. in the morning at the um, Geneva bar in Amsterdam, something like that. You know, the universe, this is like something I'm sending out. That would be really cool if that happens. <laughs> if you have no idea what the Geneva bar is, Geneva is kind of like a local Dutch liquor. And in Amsterdam, you have a secret Geneva bar. Maybe one day I will take you there where they have these um, fruit flavored, uh, well, also chocolate and vanilla flavored Geneva. It's so good. I love that place so much. And I always take foreigners there if they drink. So that's one of the few occasions when I drink, when I go to the Geneva bar. And I would definitely like to take superwoman over there. Asha McLeod asks, are you and Care Bear Lazy Ass planning on going traveling together sometime like your trip to India or doesn't Stefan really care about traveling? Yeah, he doesn't really care about it. He just likes luxury resorts and doing nothing all day. Sometimes he's a little bit adventurous like when we went to Hong Kong but it's really not his jam and to be very fair Traveling with someone who doesn't really enjoy it is not that much fun. And also, I love him. I would never want him to do anything that he doesn't like. So, I guess that's a no. Babok Singh 20 asks, which city would you avoid? Um, the city I grew up in, Lelystad. It is the most uninspiring place on earth. It is the place where dreams go to die. The only reason I sometimes return there is because my parents still live there, but if I would never have to go there again, I would be a very, very happy camper. Just saying. Jamila Bidouf asks, could you share your travel wish list again? It's always fun to hear that. Okay, so my travel wish list for this year is Taiwan. I would really, really like to go back to Taiwan. I would really like to go to Indonesia. I would really, well, maybe, maybe like to go to Iceland this year. Not sure, maybe, maybe. Maybe a destination in the US again. So LA, I prefer the warm weather over the cold weather in New York. So New York is further down the wish list. I would really, well, I think those are the most important ones where I would like to go. Oh, and also a Caribbean destination. So St. Marta is also definitely on my wish list. Could you also maybe tell something about what you studied? Well, I, I told you that before. So I, I have a master's degree in law and I have a master's degree in communication science and I studied at the University of Amsterdam. The last question, Caro6006, what are your top three favorite food porn dishes ever. Okay, so if you don't know this yet, my favorite food ever, the dish you can always wake me up for, ever, ever. It doesn't matter if it's savory or if it's um, sweet, although I prefer the sweet one, is pancakes. Forever and ever in my heart. And especially like the IHOP cinnamon stack. Ah, I die, it's so good. Okay, number two, obviously paneer, any kind of paneer. Wake me up for paneer, any kind of shape, whatever. I don't care, paneer. Number three is a little bit more difficult. No, it's actually not difficult. It's something I don't eat often because you can only get it, well, the best ones are in my birthplace, Belgrade, Pogacice. <gasps> it's so good, oh my gosh. So Pogacice, if you have no idea what it is, it is, well, puff pastry but it tastes a little bit different like puff pastry. You can get them like in different kinds of shape, but the most traditional ones are like this big, I guess, and like 
this fluffy like this is their height and they're so good with yogurt oh my gosh the traditional way of eating them mm, so that would be my number three those are all the questions from instagram i didn't even ask on snapchat because i already got so many questions this video is also quite long if you guys want more q a videos let me know down in the comments below and next time maybe i can do a snapchat one um so you guys can like talk to me and stuff like that and i can show it in a video that would be really cool i hope you enjoyed this video and got to know me a little bit better and my answers are satisfying your cues if you enjoyed the video put a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of my videos and travel along with me to hamburg because that's going to be the next destination click that subscribe button and then i will see you next time my friend bye